Hello everyone, welcome on Dev Stack channel. So in the last video of this series, we worked on the custom card. And if we click on our custom card, then we will gonna go on the individual pages. So the functionality of the individual pages, we added in the last video. I mean, after clicking the custom card, we were landing into the individual pages. Right now inside the individual pages, we don't have anything. We just have the empty scaffold. Now we have to work on the individual pages. So in the individual pages, first we have the app bar, then we have the uh, text form field where we will write a text and send the message and that thing we are going to add here. But in this video, I'm going to work on the app bar first. So let me just use the scaffold. Before I will go on a scaffold, here in a custom card, we are getting the metadata of the user inside the chat model instance same metadata i'm going to pass inside the individual pages also because we need a name of the user we need the icon of the user all those things we can get from the chat model itself so let me pass this chat model inside the individual pages for that first thing i had to create a chat model instance here so let me create a chat model instance here and uh, i'm going to use the this dot chat model over here and i have to import the chat model file and now i have to pass this chat model in the constructor of the individual pages so how we can pass it to pass it we have to use the chat model parameter and we are going to pass the exact instance which we are getting from the chat page to the custom card here I'm going to hit the save and now I'm going to use this chat model instance in our individual pages. So let's start the work. First thing first, let me use the app bar property of the scaffold. Inside the app bar property, first thing we have to use is the leading one. But let me hit the save to see you the changes. Now you can see that here the app bar is added but we have to work on the app bar according to our need if you go on a whatsapp whatsapp have two things in a leading first one is the arrow bar and second one is the circle or tar of the profile image so for the leading i'm going to use the row and you will see the changes after i will implement it inside the row we have the children property inside the children the first children i, am, I will pass which will be the icon widget and what will be the icon name the icon name will be icons dot arrow back okay let me hit the save so here we added the arrow back button the second children we have to use is the circle author so in a circle author the first thing we have to use is the radius and what will be the radius of the circle author the radius will be 20 and uh, the second thing we have to use is the background color it will be a colors dot blue gray the same color we were using on a custom card and i'm going to hit the save here you can see that the arrow back button and the circle author is added but it's showing the overflow message to remove the overflow message what we have to do that inside the app bar we have an extra parameter called leading width i'm going to assign the leading width to 70 and i'm going to hit the say you can see that the arrow back button and the circle author is added but to make it more good what we have to do that we have to use the main axis alignment inside the main axis alignment i'm going to use the main axis alignment center i'm going to hit the save and you can see the changes also i'm going to increase the size of the icon what will be the size of the icon the size of the icon will be 24 and after this what we have to do that we have to wrap this row with the ink fill why let me just wrap this widget first in an ink well then i will explain you so when a person will click on this arrow back button it should go on a again on a chat page 
to implement that functionality, we have to use the ink well. Inside the ink well, we have the on tap method. And inside the on tap, what I'm going to use that I'm going to use the navigator dot pop. It will pop the this individual page from the context. And if I will hit the save and if I will click on this individual page, then we will go on a chat page again. Inside the circle avatar, also we have to add this icon. So to add an icon, let me go on a custom card. Inside the custom card, we use the same circle avatar funda. And here we were using the SVG picture widget for the circle avatar one. So let me copy the whole code. If you watch the last video, then it will be very easy. So let me just copy this thing. And if I will go inside the individual page and I'm going to paste this thing here. And here inside the SVG picture, we are getting the issue because we have to import the package of the SVG picture after importing it. Here I'm getting the issue of the chat model one, but we define the chat model variable over here. But why we are getting this issue? Because right now we are using the stateful widget and we define this chat model variable in a stateful class. And to access this variable in a stateful state, first we have to use the widget parameter. So any variable you define inside the stateful widget class and you want to access that variable inside the stateful state, you have to first use the widget parameter. After the widget, just use the your variable name and I'm going to hit the save and you can see that the icon is added over here so if you just uh, confuse here please watch the last video how I added the SVG picture widget in our circle avatar after this the second thing we have to use is the title one so just after the leading parameter we have to add the title. Why we are adding the title? Because we have to provide our name, name and last scene. So to use it, first thing first, let me use the column widget because inside the column, we have a children and why I'm using column, you will get to know after I will add the children's. The first thing we have to add is the text parameter and how I will get the text with help of the again chat model instance so widget dot chat model and the name of the user and I'm going to hit the save and David stack is came here and uh, let me just do the styling so just after okay not inside here hit the save inside the text we have the style parameter here I had to use the text style to style the text. The font size of it will be what will be the font size will be 18.5 and the font weight will be font weight dot bold. Hit the save. See the changes. The font weight is changed. Now the second text we have to add over here, which will be the last scene. Text last scene today. It 12.05. Hit the save. Okay, but it's not looking great because we have to do the styling we have to use the text style and the font size will be 13 to look good okay and inside the column parameter we have to provide the main axis alignment as the main axis alignment start hit the save also, we have to provide the cross axis alignment, cross axis alignment star, and again hit the save. Now both are aligned. The second thing we have to use is we have to 
provide the additional parameter inside the app bar that title spacing should be zero. Hit the save and it will be look like this. And to add a padding between this and this, I'm going to use the container widget first. Let me wrap this thing inside the container widget. I know all these things are messy as of now, but after this, the whole view will come inside your picture. So I'm going to use the margin to give the spacing and I'm going to use the agent set dot all. The margin should be five. So now these two things are added. Okay. So title added, leading added. Then after that, we had to put the icons of the video call and the phone call and the pop-up menu. So just after the title parameter, I'm going to use the another parameter of the scaffold. I mean the app bar, which is the action. The first icon button I will provide is the icon button and the icons dot video cam. I'm going to hit the save and I'm going to provide the empty method. Now the video cam icon are added, which is a button. And the second button I had to add is the icon button and the icon of this is the icons dot call. Also, I have to provide the empty method and I'm going to hit the save. Now the video cam button and the call button is added. The last button we have to add is the pop-up menu. So just after the icon button, I'm going to use the pop-up menu button. So inside the icon builder, we have to provide all those things. I'm not providing anything as of now because of that, it will give an error. So this video is already exhausted. So in the first video, we implemented this thing inside the home screen, the pop-up menu. We had to add this, all the thing, the, the exact code. I'm just going to copy it because I don't want to make this video very long. You can watch this thing in a first video that how we added this pop-up menu. This video is already covered. I don't want to repeat the code again. So I'm just going to copy and paste the code over here. And I'm going to hit the save. Now, the app bar part is completed. You can see over here. The only thing we have to do is the, we have to wrap this thing in do the ink wheel. Why I'm wrapping this? If you go on a WhatsApp, a person will click here, then it will show the profile of the user. I mean the, the other person profile. So after clicking this title only, the other person profile will be open. So same thing we have to do over here. That's why we have to wrap this leading one inside the ink wheel. So let me wrap this with the another widget, ink wheel. And as of now, I don't want to do anything. So I'm just put it empty method. And also I'm going to provide at least six margin. Now you can see that it is looking like the WhatsApp one. So in the menu button, we have this kind of text that is not exactly look like as the WhatsApp one. So let me just change it quickly then we will wrap up the video the first thing inside the menu button we have is the view contact exact thing i'm going to paste over here let me write all those things quickly so the video will be more short and this is the second menu button and the value will be the same let me write all those things quickly.
we are making this menu button look like exactly as the whatsapp one you can find this thing on the individual chat page here we go the last menu button and there is another menu button which is the more but more we will add into the next coming video because more is another kind of menu button and for that we have to use the another kind of widget so let me just refresh the page and see the all the menu thing are added over here for the dev stack for the kisor callings all other thing are here now so the app bar part is completed now we have to work on the text form field first we will gonna work on a text form field where we will put the text and send the message then after that we will start working on the body part till that Thank you all and happy coding. Don't forget to share this video to your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you all and happy coding.